So let's go through and just learn a little bit more about what's covered in CompTIA CYSA+. Um, basically, if you pass this exam, then you would have verified that you have the knowledge and skills required to detect and analyze indicators of malicious activity. And essentially what this is, to, in order to detect and analyze indicators of malicious activity, you have to employ continuous security monitoring on your network. You have to be monitoring constantly for activity that could indicate um, you know, malicious activity. And so you're constantly monitoring using various tools that are available uh, for security analysts, uh, such as security information and event management systems, SIMS, um, and other tools that we'll be talking about in a moment. Um, another thing is understanding threat hunting and threat intelligence concepts, and then comparing them. This is very important because um, you know, threat hunting and threat intelligence are they give us the ability to predict who's going to attack us and how they might attack us. So we can actually defend ourselves before they've attacked us based on the profile of our industry and profile of the, um, you know, of the um, malicious actors, we could say, in that, in, in that area. And so what we have to do then is you know, use tools like the MITRE Navigator to determine you know, what industry we're in uh, and then we can determine who's going to be attacking us based on that industry. We can determine, like for foreign finance, we could even determine the services they're going to be attacking, how they're going to employ those uh, uh, those attacks, uh, and then offers a playbook on how you can actually um, defend against those attacks before they've even occurred. Third area, use appropriate tools methods to manage, prioritize, and respond to attacks and vulnerabilities. This is very important because the tools that are available for um, for information security analysts, they have been, um, they've really been modernizing fast to include things like uh, automation um, and, and other various, uh, you know, uh, even in threat hunting or and uh, threat intelligence are kind of built into them now, where you can just you know bring in a feed um, directly into the sim, and so there are so many ways that it's converging. Um, but essentially, these tools such as sims um, and so various sims are things like IBM's. Um, uh, you know, IBM has uh, Q radar. As a matter of fact, um, if you want to get the QRadar certification from IBM, CYSA Plus is one of the requirements. They actually require CYSA Plus to get the, um, you know, the core information security analyst knowledge. And then you take their QRadar cert that just teaches the specifics of the tool. And so in this certification we teach you how to use the basics of a sim and so you could go out and use you know you could go out and use Splunk you could go out and use logarithm you could go out and use QRadar you could go out and use a multitude of different sims which is probably the main tool that security analysts use out in the industry because CYSA plus teaches you the vendor neutral concepts of how a sim works so you can then apply that on a vendor specific tool um, also perform incident response processes. Incident response is one of the key tasks of a security analyst, responding to the incident in order to mitigate it. In, order, in other words, in order to lessen the effect of you know, whatever is occurring. Um, and so if you find that you have you know, potential breach on your network, perhaps you can respond by you know, isolating those systems um, as well as you know, reporting and communicating. Um, what's going on with other teams so you can um, so a, a team can help to resolve the issue if necessary through ticketing systems for example um, and then lastly understanding reporting and communication concepts related to vulnerability management and incident response activities and so you have to report what you're working on all the time as a security analyst the reason is is because the work that you're doing is very important to regulatory usually. If your company is under some kind of regulation, um, you will likely have to do reporting that would show how secure your company is. 
um, you know, or, or for instance, let's say you're you're responsible for GDPR, where you have to actually you know store all of your customers' information, uh, you know, in, in Europe. Uh, one of the things that a lot of these regulations require are just statistics on your um, on trends in your networks, and so it's like they are going to want to know, you know, how many, um, uh, how, how are you affected, how many, you know, breaches have you had, how many. Um, you know, incidents are you responding to? Um, you know, they're going to want to know uh, statistics, and so they can help determine how cyber secure, um, or you know, what the uh, essentially, you know, what the security um, posture of your company is. So these reports are critical, and a lot of them become from the security analysts because they can show trends. You know, trends in, um, as I just mentioned, and we'll go over a few of those trends in a bit.